What's going on everybody? Today we're going to review one of the newest releases from the house, one of my favorites, Parfum de Marley, and we're going to review Haltair. Let's get into it. Is it worth it? Is it worth the hype? Let's find out. I was born to be free. So one of the best things you're going to see in this channel is that you're not going to have your time wasted. My job here is to get you in, get you out. If I can get you to smell good, look good, feel good, any of the three, then I did my job. If that sounds of interest to you guys, I would love for you guys to subscribe, share, like the channel, because it makes a big difference when it comes to the algorithm. I'm excited to bring to you guys Haltair, because this one was right up my alley. I heard about the notes, and I was like, you know what, perfect time to release it in the fall. This is a fall winter scent. Cuts right through the cold, not a problem, especially with all the DNA of Parfum de Marley. That's what you're going to see, that everything is mass appealing, smells great, projects well, and you're going to love it. You're going to end up falling in love and wanting every single bottle. I love the colors, but this is what it is. I fell in love with the ingredients because it was a warm, spicy scent, especially for the fall and the winter time, which I was like, how can I resist? So, right away, you get that strong Parfums de Marley DNA. I don't know if you guys can see, but that oil, that oil right there stays on your skin for like a good half hour before it even starts to dissolve. But let me tell you, right away, you get the bourbon vanilla, but there's a smokiness to it. It's not like that smooth vanilla, it's a little rugged. You start to get the top note of cardamom coming in. I guess the cinnamon makes it spicy. The cardamom comes in there to play, but I don't get too much vanilla. It smells nice, rugged, but I get more of a smokiness to it. It's supposed to be uh, geared towards the men's line, but I would say that this one gears more towards the feminine side. I like it, I'm not in love with it, and now after smelling it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Everybody hyped it up, say it's amazing. For women, I could see how women could pull this off and it's gonna smell absolutely stunning. It has a classy elegance to it. I wouldn't say that this is the thing that women really want to smell on a man. Women love it. They say it's great. A lot of YouTubers are talking about it, but I think more for the women's side. As far as like smelling it, when I first smelled it, and even now, even now, it's not one of those scents. I mean, I'm surprised because Perfumes de Marley, everything is a hit. This one probably will be a hit because of the hype that's behind it. But when I smell it, it's not like, oh my God, I need this. I need this because there's, you know how it is. When you smell cologne and it smells amazing, it doesn't matter what it costs. It doesn't matter where you have to get it shipped from. You need it. It doesn't matter how long you're going to wait. You have to have it in your collection. And that's how I am with a lot of my cologne. Most, 90% of my cologne, I'm a fanatic with it. So if I bought it, it's because it's a wow factor. It's a mass appealer. It's amazing. I know it's going to leave in a crazy scent trail. The scent bubble around me is going to be astonishing. But this one, it's okay. Is it worth $350? Long story short, not really. I would feel comfortable spending about 80 bucks for this. $350, it's smooth, but you have that smokiness to it, which takes away from that sweet vanilla. I really wouldn't think that women want to smell this type of scent on a man. I would say they want clean and sweet. They want something like fresh out of the barbershop, fresh out of the shower, clean. That Neroli note. Now, alternatives, all right? This is Mercedes-Benz Club. Do not spend $350 on the Perfumes de Marley. And I'm a fanatic, I'm telling you, I'm not even trying to talk bad or BS you on the brand because I love the brand. I spend thousands over the years on the brand. But this one, I can't say it's a wow factor. I can't say that it's an amazing, I need it in my collection. For a woman, I would love to smell it on a girl. For a man, not gonna cut it. I'm not a big fan of it, but Mercedes-Benz Club, going to last you all day. You want a clean, sweet vanilla that's going to last all day, masculine that women are going to fall in love with? Right here. Sweet, smooth, high compliment getter. One of the best vanillas out there. But if you do want a nice, smoky, rich vanilla, one of the best, top three in the market, Nishane Ani. This one is a dark, rich, gourmand, loving, fragrance from the brand of Nishane Ani. You can get this for 180 bucks. Go to Joma Shop, go to Fragrance Net. Top notch, formed beautifully. This is a masterpiece. You're going to love this. You're not going to spend as much as the Haltair and 
you're going to love it. People are going to love it. Trust me. I'm telling you, one of my best, number two, this is number three. This is number two. Number one, best vanilla scent on top of all of them. You want the best vanilla scent in the market? Double Vanille by Guerlain. This is the best vanilla scent I've ever put my nose on by Guerlain. This one is crazy. This is like an orange popsicle. You would love this. Oh man, the creaminess, the juiciness. Listen, this is less than 200 bucks. This is $180. This is $50. You're not, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get mad at you. Do not spend 350 bucks on Haltair when you have all these other nice fragrances, great vanillas, great compliment getting colognes for half or a quarter of the price that smell better, project better, and last longer. So don't waste your time. I'm telling you, 350 bucks, they brought it down 75, no problem. I like it. But as far as do I love it, I'm not in love with it. I'm not, I'm sorry. For the women, it's not bad. I would like that. It leans more on the feminine side. But if you want a beautiful vanilla, sweet, smooth, cheap, smells expensive, Mercedes Benz with the smokiness and the sweetness, Nishane Ani. You want the best vanilla in the market, Guerlain, double vanille. This one is a stunner. All right, guys, that's my review. That's my take on Perfumes de Marley. I am in love with all of Parfum de Marley. It's just that, unfortunately, this one, I have to give it to the women. For the men, I wouldn't say it's a great scent. It's okay, but there are other alternatives. So don't waste your money, don't waste your time. Go straight to this. I'm telling you, they are great blind buys. Listen guys, this video, this channel is dedicated to helping you guys, like I told you in the beginning, helping you smell good, look good, feel good. We're talking about the best fragrances. We're talking about the best fashion tips, the best workout tips. We're gonna help you with health, number one. We're gonna help you smell better. We're gonna help you deal with the color combination and the ties and the shoes and the belts and the clothes and the fashion. All that's gonna be covered in this channel, guys. If that sounds great to you, please like, subscribe, support the channel. Comment down below on what you like. What is your go-to fragrances? What do you like from the line of Perfumes de Marley? What do you guys like to do when it comes to helping you uplift yourself, motivate yourself, stay positive? All right, guys, till the next review, this is James Martin from the channel, Terribly Tough. I'll see you in the next review.